For 26 years, Dr. Anthony Fauci has been the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. That's almost as long as AIDS has been a global threat. We still have a long way to go, but we're going in the right direction. Dr. Fauci says the world is still in a very serious pandemic. But 2010 has turned out to be a promising year for two separate studies involving methods of preventive treatment against infection. One study involved 2,500 gay men in parts of Latin America, South Africa, Thailand, and the United States. While one group was given a placebo, another was given two long-established antiretroviral drugs that were combined into one drug called Truvada. Dr. Fauci says the results were remarkable for those on the drug. There was a 44% decreased risk of acquisition of HIV infection, but importantly, for those who took the drug for at least 90% of the days that they were supposed to take the drug, the decrease in risk was 73%, which is extraordinarily good results. In another study, women in South Africa were on a regimen using a topical vaginal gel permeated with 1% of an anti-HIV drug called denofafir. Dr. Fauci says the microbicide trial showed positive results in reducing the risk of infection. The result was 39% efficacy, not overwhelming, but still significant, and we hope to improve on that, particularly with better adherence to the regimen. For years, scientists have tried without success to produce an effective vaccine against HIV. Dr. Fauci says there have also been some encouraging reports from a vaccine trial in Thailand, though much more research needs to be done. New combinations of drugs, progress made toward an eventual vaccine, preventive methods and clinical trials are all well and good, he says, but nothing works without consistent use of condoms, limiting the number of sexual partners, and changing sexual behavior. Melinda Smith, VOA News.